Lagos Ogba. I'm here with uh, my reviewers with me this morning. Uh, it's bustling in Lagos. It is uh, uh, people are going about their daily activities. Uh, we will go into our re newspaper review this morning. But before that, uh, there was a report yesterday that the chief of army staff died in a plane crash. Wow, it's a tragedy. Uh, let's move over to the newspaper headline this morning. We have the nation uh, newspaper with us. And what does the nation have for us? Um, above the masthead, 2023 presidency, other positions open to all, uh, says APC governors. 2023 presidency, other positions open to all, lies from the APC governors. From the IGP, uh, Boko Haram plotting attacks on Abuja and just Boko Haram plotting attacks on Abuja and just that's from intelligence report from the IGP uh, gunmen kill Catholic priest abduct another in Casina attack gunmen kill Catholic priest abduct another in Casina attack now this is a controversy as NCC denies asking for phone IDs controversy as NCC uh, denies asking for phone IDs below the master the main headline for today uh, the unfortunate uh, incident that happened tragedy as army chief at Airo. 10 others die in Kaduna crash tragedy as army chief at Airo. 10 others die in Kaduna crash and look at uh, uh, some of the pictures of those uh, that were with him in the, uh, the, the helicopter crash uh, flood of tributes for late chiefs chief of staff others uh, CDS others probe constitution of accident investigation board CDS others prove and constitution of accident investigation board DHQ blames increment weather for plane crash DHQ uh, def uh, defense headquarters blames inclement weather for plane crash fatal flight third NAF crash in three months now the names of those that uh, died in the crash is here uh, uh, today uh, number one Lieutenant General I Atahiru that is uh, the chief of army staff Brigadier General M.I. Abdul Kadir, uh, Brigadier General Olayinka, Brigadier General Kulia, Major L.A. Hayat, Major Hamzat, Sergeant Umar, uh, Flight Lieutenant C.O. Asani, Flight Lieutenant A.A. Olufade, uh, Sergeant Adeshino, and A.C.M. Oyedeko. These are the people that were involved in the crash. Well, yesterday we heard that uh, the Boko Haram, uh, day before yesterday, uh, Boko Haram leader died, and today another death uh, we are hearing from the army. Okay, let's move over to our um, uh, reviewers this morning. I have with me Mr. Lucky. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. How are you? It, it's so sad that we are hearing that uh, the chief of army staff is dead. <coughs> it's so sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. What do you expect? So sad. Some people are rejoicing. Some people are mourning. Who are the one mourning? Is the president and the family of the victim. And the whole army was? Not the whole army. Some people are happy. If Yaradua did not die, if Abaja did not die, why would not I be in that position today? And first of all, that is a signal, warning to those who believe the only one who will occupy Nigeria, who don't believe other tribe, they believe on their self. Mostly the president, Muhammad Buhari. When this former general left, we were expecting he should pick from the south, from the south. But at the end, he still go back to his family. So, when we expect this old man to have given chance, the young people are dying, the young generals are dying. So automatically, it's a warning to our nation, the leader of our nation. They project the young people to die, not the old men. 
So you are saying it's the, the plan work? Are you saying it's the plan work? My brother, everything that happened, God knows. Nigerians are not happy. The land are not happy. The place they are entering are not happy. Everything God created is not happy with this government. So anything can happen. Look at the police. The same people. Every sector of this government, check them. People are not happy. How many put money now? Only the family. And people are waiting to take over. You don't know. It's, they are not supposed to be stunned. He has a, those who senior him. Abi, because of my brother, I don't want you, Yoruba man, to test. I don't want Anibo man to test. So let me bring my brother to occupy that post. So if anything that comes, let them check it. I am not money for anybody. You're not money? No. It's not the right turn. It's not the right turn. It's not his turn. So that's why I say, time to die, time to burn. So if you come, take it. What do you suggest? Who should replace? He will still bring his brother, Gino Ran, to put there. Buare will still bring his brother, Gino Ran, to put there. What do you expect? What does he need? Because the nation is angry. The grand is angry. FA is angry. Angry for them. So what are we talking about? Who is money? Who is money? It's the family. And before you know now, they'll bring somebody, their brother. Buare will still put his brother there. Well, what does he need? And series of dying, killing every day. Are you talking about the Boko Haram who are fighting themselves? It's a problem to us. You think we're happy? This one have taken over, and this one they are even more than the, the Boko Haram. They are well equipped. This one who go to Army Barak, collect their weapons, sack them. They are very strong, more than the armies. So, our president should just throw the tower, my brother, throw the tower, so that this nation can be peace. Okay, you are saying president should resign. He should go. We don't need him. He should go. Nigeria is not well. Nigeria is sick. I'm telling you the truth. Every day you wake up, you hear bad news. Because their hands are not clean. The hands are not clean. The leader's hands are not clean. And our vice president is supposed to be praying for the nation. The man is just sitting down. He's in charge of an economic council. Since he entered for how many years now? Just remain two years for them. Economy is zero. Insecurity is zero. Every sector of this nation, zero. I talk about security. Just tell me now. Are we happy? I came out this morning, I'm not happy. Everything in the paper, your news, everything there, killing, kidnapping, dying, my brother. Innocent people are suffering. I told you last time that our youth are languishing in somewhere. Some are languishing in Jepalo. Some are languishing in uh, um, where they smoke. Some are languishing in uh, where you see Chelsea Mayo. Some of that campaign, just look at the back. You see them, the youth, look at them now, take back, look at my back. You see them campaigning for this, they are youth. How many old men do you see there? They started, I told you, when the election is coming, you see them buying t-shirt, you see them buying cap, buying gari. Go and check them now. You can see the old road, they are sharing cap on my back. Don't look at my back now. You see them. Youth, many youth are there. Tomorrow, they will come here and telling you, shouting. We are shouting here, they always against us. But what we do, we have to tell the world. We, we, I believe this to change. We are dying. How did you tell? How much did they give them this money now? In no more than one thousand naira. But look at the way the money. Just follow ordinary chairman. What if Tinubu come out tomorrow? All of them will follow Tinubu. So we have, we are in a problem. Our youth, they have lose focus. So that's why you see us here. We the reviewer. We are telling the Nigeria what is going on. Kill it every day, my brother. Every morning you wake up, it's killing, destroyer. So our president should throw the tower. That's my own. Every day I come here to speak, throw the tower. He didn't do the right thing. That's why you see this calamity, calamity of a calamity. One, go now. If the president understand, let it go and pick 
somebody from the southeast, a general, or from the south, so my brother. Good yeah, good morning, Mr. Good Christian. Good uh, it's been raining since morning, and everywhere is cool. So you can see you are putting on your your sweater. That is great. So what is new? Okay. What is new is we are saying that the chief of army staff died yesterday in a plane crash. And we are telling people it's a tragedy. Some people say it's not a tragedy. I don't know what's your opinion. Well, let the bird bury their dead. I may want to appreciate, uh, of course, uh, the esteemed viewers, some that show the interest in in assisting that young lad I met mentioned yesterday. I may want to say I've met some little uh, investigation about the lady and uh, she hails from Benue State and her name is Sekiri and uh, she, she has been with this uh, problem for over three years and uh, from the information I got from her guardians that they have been trying to source funds and that had been the the challenge to assist her medical bill. I would have invited them here so that the I mean the viewers can see for themselves and uh, know what they can do to assist her. But considering the it has been raining since morning and I wouldn't want her to to come under the rain. So I now scheduled an appointment, of course, by 8 to 8.30, probably by Monday. I hope they will be able to make it here so that it will be, the public will be able to understand the gravity of the situation and see how important, how urgent it is to assist this young lad. And God will bless you, of course, when you assist humanity, especially people who could not help themselves, especially as the situation is in the case of this lady. Okay, let's move over. Nigeria is mourning because Nigeria, maybe not all Nigeria, <laughs> most or some Nigerians are mourning the death of the chief of army staff. Are you amongst those Nigerians that are mourning the death of the chief of army staff? Well, I'm not, I'm not a Nigerian. Uh, to start with, and I can never identify with Nigeria. But that notwithstanding, of course, uh, it is not new that it's not, it's never the first time you are uh, having a plane crash in Nigeria. It, it, it is a normal routine, it's a normal, it's a seasonal ritual. So I think uh, they are performing the ritual at this time. Unfortunately, it happens to the lot happens to fall on the chief of army staff. It's quite unfortunate, but then he's not the only person. Of course, we, people have been dying on daily basis, so his own shouldn't be a of them. Thousands of people in the hands of Boko Haram, in the hands of banditry. So what are you saying? In the what was his impact? Within the few months he, he assumed office, what impact has it made in combating Boko Haram? You could understand that last year, about $2.6 billion, not Naira, $2.6 billion was voted in the fight against Boko Haram. Yet, Boko Haram is expanding their not large. I mean, children are even dying. So what makes him prominent about that? What makes his death prominent? The office. So, the office. What office? The office was meant for him to serve the people. And he ended up serving his... Uh, his 
political appointees. So what it doesn't make that does not make him special. So we are saying that Nigeria is in a dilemma. People are dying. Innocent is no in fact it's not on, on the issue of Biafra. So whether he's alive or dead, it does not make any sense. As far as the struggle for the restoration of the Biafran state is concerned. So is he material? His presence or his absence does not make any difference. So Biafra people are calling for their own rights, their right to self-determination, their right to association. So he could not stop it. Even Nigeria cannot stop it. When the people said we are moving forward, you can't stop them. That is the truth about that. So you can attempt to do that, but I tell you, 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 you end up uh, in, in a more horrifying state. One more question. According to Nigerian uh, media, according to Nigerian journalists, <laughs> we have a repeat of this tomorrow. It's not a surprise if the chief of air staff happens to be blown up tomorrow because Nigeria is not working. So that is the fundamental issue. We shouldn't be distracted on the core subjects. Which is the dissolution of the Nigerian state. It's not working. And the, 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 the more we keep on living in denial, the more the, we continue to sink abysmally. So that is a position. How do we disengage this, this system? How, do, how can we ensure that each ethnic nationality or region move? I mean, the separate ways in peace that should be paramount, and there should be an enabling environment that will allow referendum people to decide whether to remain away from this entity. So we are calling for a referendum. I, I think that is the the most. Uh, important subject basic canvassing campaigning for local government they are not even ashamed you see it's quite unfortunate so that is my position on the have a good day good morning Good morning. Uh, how Good morning. Friends? Fine. Uh, there's so much argument, so much people are saying so, so many things about the death. Could this death, I mean, uh, what we look at is convert. I think because you know, from what I've read, over 20 something persons have died in crash aircraft uh, crash related uh, incidents. And it's unfortunate because I think we may not be making adequate use of the processes that is available to check with such occurrence. Because when things like this happen, accident investigating Buru, accident investigation Buru has a mandate to unravel what led to it. And their findings is always used to foster such occurrence. But I don't know what is happening. That this is happening and it's happening repeatedly. 
Does it mean it is as a result of a technical error? Does it mean it has something to do with sabotage? Does it mean there's something wrong somewhere? That's what I'm trying to say. Something is actually wrong somewhere. Because most of the aircraft that is crashing in Nigeria like this, they are contemporary, as in the same aircraft that is being used in other parts of the world, manufactured during the same time by the same company. Is it crashing in the same manner? Those are the pertinent questions we need to ask. But it's unfortunate because life has been lost. However, I look at it as human, we don't have the capacity to create life. So we can only show uh, sympathy, show condolence, expect condolence when things of this nature happen. But it's unfortunate that we cannot bring back life. So that is why everything that needs to be done ought to be done to make sure you foster such occurrence. Because however I look at it, life is sacrosanct. As human, we cannot create life. But again, life in itself is ephemera in nature. It transcends. So when things like this happen, it awakens our consciousness to life after death. It tells you that a time will come where you give, where you have to give stewardship. Where you have to go back to your maker to render account. And when things like this happen, it comes for sober reflection, a time of personal life appraiser. You do an analysis of your life, appraise your life. If you were to die in this circumstance at this moment, what will you tell God? So that, well, the point I'm trying to make is this takes us to reconciliation to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's very important. Because it doesn't matter the number of years you spend on earth. It doesn't matter the might, the wealth you think you have acquired. Death is a necessary end of mankind. And when it happens, the, the, the person involved must go back to God to give up accounts. So on that basis, I need this opportunity to admonish myself and any other person that is a praiser. It comes of sober reflection. Let us use this opportunity to repent of our sins and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. As the only basis to end eternity. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's look at his performance while he loved it. Although he spent a short time. A short time. Let's look at his performance. He may not have performed. Before office. Before office all of Even before office, he may not have performed. Because don't forget that he was the theater commander of Operation Lavia Duli. And he was hurriedly removed. Because the time he assumed office as the officer commander of Operation Lavia Duli, so they were almost overwhelming Nigerian military. So he was hurriedly removed. If you are looking at people who perform in that capacity, look at the current chief of, chief of defense staff in the presence of uh, Lucky Rabo. He performs tremendously. He achieves huge success as operation as um, commander of the of operation as the theater commander of operation Lavia Duli. That notwithstanding, he's dead. There is not time to start looking at his failure or his success because what we should be looking at is. Um, condolence to his family, to the Nigerian military, to Nigerian government. Because for me, it's unfortunate. Even Jesus Christ, even Jesus Christ, when to tell that death is not a good phenomenon, when Lazarus died, even when you know that he died, he had the capacity to raise him from death. The Bible says he wept. So death is not good. Even when your enemy dies, you don't even start to believe Don't make yourself a sadist. That's why I see it. It's unfortunate. And I think Nigerian uh, agency, particularly Accident Investigation Bureau, should do more to ensure that if things like, like this happen, investigate it. Know the immediate cause, know the remote cause, to use the first likely occurrence. 
it is too early to start unravel or say what may have transpired. But I understand that I learned that there was a blast explosion before the crash. But let us allow the accident investigation bureau to come out with their investigation, their results before we know what transpired. Let's look at a new team of army staff, a new one. What do you expect from the president in appointing a new chief of army staff? The president see how the prerogative to appoint whoever it deems fit. That notwithstanding, we have been talking over the years that there is lopsidedness uh, um, in appointment when it comes to issues that have to do with security. If I were to be issue, I would look at somebody from the south east to be appointed as chief of army staff. That notwithstanding, he has his prerogative right to decide who to appoint. But if I were to be issue, I will appoint somebody from the south east to lead the military. But I do not even see a new service, a new army chief to do something different from what he was doing. It is about what equipment do you have on ground. It is about what strategy are you using. Don't forget that recently, the current, um, the current National Security Advisor raised an alarm that equipment that were procured under the former service chiefs, that they were not on ground. So how do you improve your your asthma. Those are the things they should be looking at. How do you use technology to drive the fire against the insurgency? Those are things you should be looking at. Only recently we are made to understand that ISWAP kids um, arrested um, Shakao, who was the leader of Boko Haram, and that the man committed suicide in the process. If Shakao had been operating in Sabiza Forest, which is Nigerian territory, unchallenged, and Nigerian army did not have the infantry to go to Sabiza Forest to confront him. And ISWAP, that is a non government actor, has gone there to confront him to the point where he has to commit suicide. It tells you that there is something fundamentally wrong with Nigerian armed forces. It tells you that Nigerian armed forces do not have what it takes to fight this level of insurgency. It tells you that they need more equipment. It tells you that until they change strategy and guide the process of fight against insurgency with technology, that they may not be winning the war. How come Shakao have been operating in Sabiza Forest for more than nine years now? And Nigerian government, Nigerian army, Nigerian air force have not been able to locate, arrest, or possibly kill him. Only recently we are made to understand that ISWAP have gone there to engage him at the level of arresting him that he committed suicide. So what are we saying? What we are saying is that a new service chief may not be able to do more, much, except you acquire better air platform, except you change your strategy, except you drive the process with technology. Look at what is happening in the Middle East. When it comes to the Commission of Nations, where the lies of Israel is talking, I don't think Nigeria is anywhere near that level. So until you change the strategy, you, are, you, you improve your armory, you improve your arsenal, Nigeria is not, Nigeria is not, doesn't have the capacity to fight insurgency. Any concluding statement? The concluding statement is this. One, the federal government should change their strategy. And they should point themselves on this nepotism. nepotism. Federal government, I mean Mr. President, should appoint somebody from the Southeast as the new chief of army staff to balance it, to give a sense of belonging. So that by the end, so that let us have a fresh hand with fresh idea from another geopolitical zone. Because by the time you continue in the same strategy, in the same idea of allowing only one section of the country, run security architecture of the country, you are you are not you are not accommodating everybody. And it is stampeding and hindering the fight against insurgency. Thank you very much. I have Mr. David with me. Mr. David, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Christian. You are not you with your sweater. I don't have one. I hope, I hope, you, are, this one I hope you are not feeling too cold. I'm not feeling too cold. Today is a day of mourning for many Nigerians because I see some Nigerians are not really concerned about the death of their chief of army Some um, See, see, it's so, so bad and too bad. Some persons are saying, thank God, Igbo person, some Igbo are not part of those people. So why must you bring 
ethnic, sentiment. ethnic sentiment, tribal sentiment into, into this. Whosoever lost his life, life is so sacrosanct. Human life is sacrosanct. So let us feel and sympathize with them. Even if it's Igbo, Awusa, Igbira, this one, it shouldn't be until one, until one, an Igbo person is, is also part of the chief, chief of family staff entourage. That's when we can mourn. Life is sacrosanct. In as much as these people are not doing the needful. We shouldn't look at that, but also we should mourn. Just like what Pastor said, I think this time is just a time for us to reflect and sober about our lives and see how far this is. After, after this, it's where are we going to? It's time for us to reflect that see, after my life on earth, will I make heaven? You can see, you can see, you might have everything in this world. You might have the money, the influence, the connection, you have everything. But fine, one day, surely you still die. And after your death, where would you go to? That's one of those things. We are part of the Nigerians that are mourning. I'm yeah. part of the Nigerians that are mourning because, in as much, I, do, I, don't, I, I don't believe in this, in this ideology that, see, Igbo man is not there, Calabar man is not there. It, it shouldn't be, it should not be but until. Death, yeah. death, not is, be. death is what? Inevitable. That is, so that is, that is, that is, that is, to me, I think everybody would die. So, so, sir, we should not wait until when you are an Igbo man be, before I start money, before a, a, a Calabar man. So, to me, I, do, I don't see that as, as, as being, as, as in, it's not a time for me to, to, to bring ethnic sentiments in, into this. Could this plane crash, could it have been uh, uh, avoided? It should have, yes, yeah. sure. Thank you. It would have been what very much about it because, because one, the technical department of the Nigerian Air Force did not certify the plane to fly. Most part of the of the what of the what Nigerian uh, Air Force said, uh, 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 he wanted to fly to Kaduna. Uh, they fled to Kaduna, so that is why I think I think at this point such tragedy should have been what such tragedy was should have what avoided. avoided such tragedy would have been what avoided. So had it been he had listened to the what technical technical department technical department of the Air Force, it would have been what avoided to pilot the affairs because of belonging. Let them have sense of belonging whosoever. But let the less of our mistaf come let the appointment. What person qualified is from uh, Which one is the north? Even if the next person that is qualified is from the north, the president should use his power and override the person. You have people, everybody is qualified as long as you've been in the system for more than 20 years. Now, let it be, let the president, let it should not be about nepotism now, it should look up above the interest of his own personal self. He should look about the interest of Nigerians. Chief of Army Staff, from time past, Burutai was and what? A, a, a not a man. Atairu has been another man. Now, why must he be not again? Let him look. There are so many, there are, there are so many Northern person, uh, Southern person, who can also take up this office and do much better than what Burutai and what Atairu has done. It, should not be from the north, 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 north. The president should balance this office. The president should balance this office. If he knows that if he wants to build, restore the what, the trust and the what, integrity of the Igbos, let him bring an Igbo man to pilot the affairs of the Nigerian army. He should not be from north, 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 north. Must he always be from north? Eh? Must he always be from north? That, that is why the north I always saying that, see, they are more superior than the other regions. Let the president balance it, and then everything will be, everything will come towards into terms.
Okay, let's let's look at his, the legacy he left, his performance. Even before he was the chief of army staff. Let's look at even him. even even when before he was chief of army staff, he was in charge of Operation Lafia Dole. In uh, he led he led about thirty operations. He led of Operation Lafia Dole, Operation Safe Safe Heaven, and those operations has been flop. Those operations have been flop. You know that. You all know that. Those operations he led were flop. And even when he was the appointed chief of army staff, there was no funds on ground to combat insurgency. Brutal siphon. They all had the money in the post of Nigeria. So now five. So five months now. I don't think he has done anything tangible. I, I, I don't think now the same thing in life. In life. Don't don't be the architect of your problem. This word, the Bible says there is life and death in this tongue. Before that, he said over 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 his dead body would it be alive? There is the Afra. Go over his dead body would he would you, would there be what the Afra? That was the chief of Amistad have said. The little of Amistad and then he said over in his dead body would would there be what? Or oh, oh, and Biafra. So in life, there is what death in the, in, in tongue. Know what to say. Now, okay, now, okay, now, is he not dead? He's dead now. What if tomorrow the Biafra goes? What tomorrow or the other doer goes? So are you are you saying there's a connection? There might be a connection between the Biafra struggle and the death of. I, I, there might, there is, what you're saying, there there's no connection. There I am not saying there's connection. I am saying, what I'm saying is that when you come to the media, when you come to the media space, learn to choose your word carefully. Choose your words carefully. Don't just come and start talking, talking. Okay, because of the word oppression, you want to float, flaunt. That is why I say, over your dead body, would there be Biafra? Over your dead body, would there be Odudua? And now he's dead. What if by tomorrow all the doer succeed? What if by tomorrow Biafra succeed? Choose your words when you come to me. That's for you. Once you're a leader, choose your words carefully. And now he did now he's also boss back to our leaders. Whatever thing you want to purchase, purchase them. Good things. You don't purchase substandard stuff. Because you guys are the one making use of this thing. I don't fly helicopter. I don't fly private jet. You can see how this private jet has been there for how many years? More than 12 years. Eh? It's time for them. When you want to purchase something for the national interest, purchase good things. Don't purchase substandard stuff. Because you guys will still make use of this. This thing. At the long run. This helicopter has been there for how many years? Ages. No maintenance. Because the man wants to fly to Kaduna now. Now that was why they had to maintain it. And then and the technical department warned him that this thing is not certified for you to fly. He said no 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 no. Let us use it. Thank you very much, Mr. David. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'll be like this is the problem, Nigeria. Always, always. I'm, always people where they deny, deny people where they look at my thunder, they joke with them. Oh, thunder, why they delay? You never finish now. Nah. Yeah. They remember people say, why was the Oh. See, I don't understand. Your thunder is in what? It they work now. Why no, 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 no go work? Bunny, see. Enemy. Your, your chief of army staff. Which chief of army staff? You know me. We no wish me good. Dead. Nigerians are mourning him. Rest in peace. Are you part of those Nigerians? Why go mourn them? They they know they they mourn us. We know they will wish us well. I don't tell you. Many government officials for Azorok, if they die, hellfire go reject them. Hell will go reject them. They will just rumor about. I know which anybody dead, but may they change their character. That is the only thing. If they not change their character, God of the masses will fight for us. Even though we don't have power to fight them. It happened when Abakari died. There is a way Nigeria they jubilate. Where this one died, there is a way Nigeria they You know, as they die, make a, make a death for us. No go work. They cry. Because, say somebody, when, when no wish me where? Die. All of that they tell them, if at all, say rest day. If rest day for them, may they rest in people. If you know they, may they manage them as they see them. 
You understand? But for this issue now, we should not use tribal something. I, as, I tell somebody this morning, say, those people, all of them are a new people. Eh? They, uh, the meeting they are going to attend, who knows the meeting? Maybe they, have, they want to have a meeting that is against the wish of God. Now God will come on them for road. She be their matter of finish. They will be there in Azorok, vying. They will not be Odudua. They will not be Biafra. Where in Dena? She be not come on. The people are ready for Odudua and Biafra will continue. If another one come with evil myopic mind, not to fight the real thing, that's why you see we have a security agency that leave the issue. In the north, health men matter, they face people that are dictating for their own freedom. They will send soldiers to go and kill them there because they, they are in power. You understand now? So sometimes when something happens, we have to go straight to the point. What's the point? Like do, Malami, you're not supposed to be in that post when they that one, I might look at him as a leader of Boko Haram self. You're not supposed to be in that seat when they there. Laila Mohamed, no support to be in that seat. Bakari, Abi, uh, uh, Gambari, all those ones, they are not fit. That's why Nigeria is having problems. Those are the people that are funding their people. How will Malami wake up and tell that they should go, they should go and they should not accept any, any law, ban on headsmen in any land? That Mumu Mehti Allah leader, which every day they use the mad, they chop shit. During from Benue State, that military leader will come out, say they are the one responsible for the, the attack in Benue State. The man will go to Asura to meet Buhali, the chief of staff of Abuja, not to happen to him. The life of those people that the headsmen are killing, are they good? If anything, any, anybody waiting for up, all those are waiting for that are demon. And something will go happen to them. See, I'm not. I was saying yesterday, people even like me now, where they like the where they hungry. I'll come they cry for somebody, where they don't chop the food. Where they give them money for gun, they go to farm. No matter what. They go give them money to buy gun, they will carry give their brother. They don't for not now. If you don't grow small now, you don't read to carry gun. They go if they never make you go school, they'll tell you to imagine. They go they give you gun. That is why the Nigeria I me mean, no know where book around leader they shake out. Now another people from another country, now they know the, the same group, another group of Boko Haram in different form. They call themselves swap. They know where Shekel would for how many years they are be back to to catch Shekel. Because I know I was telling somebody something yesterday that this uh, chief of army staff that died to the the bomb yellow plane. If anything, Nigeria tell you that they want to investigate. Benny, don't forget about the matter. You, we are here that how many air, air, air officers that crashed either in, in Abuja that they, we lost how many people? Is it last three months? Is almost three months ago. We lost three, how many, almost seven officers inside there. The same aeroplane. Why is it that nothing they want for this country and they want the country to continue? Why go continue? They don't know say that play no good. Eh? Hmm. They know that play no good, but God don't blind their faith. They don't know again. That's why they enter them. And I have God don't sign them. If God don't sign them, I don't sign them. You understand? Okay, what should the, if you are the president, what should No let president, the president, no let president will play, no they crash. In choosing a new chief of minister, what oh. advice? Okay. The before before Buhari Uma chooses, let me tell you, Buhari can never, can never appoint another tribe to be chief of army staff because it's afraid that let the new chief of army staff no go key the headsman where to record problem everywhere. May the may the new chief of army staff no go to kick Boko Haram where be where be in brother and in uncle and in son. He can never hear me where before they appoint this one the person that's supposed to be in that post is about is here Obama. They put it as word a constitution that is stage by stage. But to jump the Yoruba man and retire many of them. He has the right. He is the only man inside that place. Is that how the country will continue? That's why there is no peace. That's why there is no peace for this country. No peace. Because 
tribalism, nepotism. On fair, for example, you will turn to chameleon, you will turn to lion, you will turn to tiger. My own option, say, let them divide Nigeria. Let everybody go their own. Because for Igbo land, we see how mad people, for Ausa land, we see how mad people for Yoruba land, but let everybody go. Some people, they don't have any position their brother there, we're going to eat the money. Every, every budget, every year they go, say, you know the final of the war for Nigeria now? Now, this one, our country. Let us stop, stop calling it uh, the B. If the way they're hungry, they continue like this for this country. Me, self, are the best. Everybody go best. By the time everybody best, by that time, how many police have mad people? All did they know now to, to work, shout for, for both stop. You don't finish. You can't fight for your right. You allow somebody to be dead with your future. Is that the way we want to meet our children? Okay. Thank oh. you, Mr. Sunday. That's from Mr. Sunday. Wonderful. Mr. Yeah. Good morning. 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 I know you are the side of reason. Yeah, I'm at the side of reason. He's doing his delegate and work. That I. You guys were, were ex, you know, elo, uh, uh, you know, elogizing, elogizing, say, ah, if they don't know you about this thing, I'm not there. I don't like that, please. Anybody that want to say anything, uh, my, my, mind you, I, um, I need to just give those. I need to thank people that have been showing me, me gesture, especially people that have been seeing reason with what I'm saying. I always say, thank you very much. God will always be with you guys. God will always be with you. Madam, I appreciate you a lot. And I, I just wish you better luck ahead you know and thanks very much god bless you i want to ask a question when abacha died uh, nigerians celebrated nigerians celebrated the same nigerians are celebrating now because of asai are you going to pass the same judgment on them when abacha died right actually the government of abacha was a bloody tyrant he was the commander in chief okay. not the yeah, yeah, service chief, the, the, the foot soldiers. An average foot soldiers, it might be that that's the last point of call to, to get himself employed. Actually, I've been told one time that I should go and join Nigerian Army. But I know I cannot join Nigerian Army because of temperamental, you know, level. You know, where you can just hold rifle and shoot somebody and you know how army works, right? But what I'm saying now, what I'm saying, among those armies now, apart from the nepotism this government is playing, there has been army under Jonathan. There has been army, Nigerian army under Obasanjo. You could remember what happened in Nodi. You could remember what happened in Nodi that time. That they killed soldiers. They killed soldiers there. There was no, the, 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 the no, nepotism hasn't got it to this level. The soldiers were killed, they behead them, and they used this thing to carry their head all around. You know, what happened? Our soldiers gave them warning that they should provide those soldiers, but they could not. You know, there are terrorists in soldiers, mind you. I know that one. There are terrorists. There are all these terrorists. They are the sympathizers of terrorists in soldiers. But that does not mean all the soldiers on this planet are bad. And I want to tell you, the head of uh, the head of arms wear manufacture in army is an evil man. The guy in charge of Nigerian military uh, arms wear, arm wear manufacturing is an evil man. So I, I, I don't, I'm just so shocked with some people that think they can read their reasoning well and they just, they just stood, they stood so low, so low. So low that everything in their blood is tribal. Tribal, et, be, be, tribal, 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 tribal. Eh? You, people's father died. They say, ah, there's five years back, there's five years this thing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. That tribal, that tribal, let me reply him, that tribal started in 1966. Where Agu Rossi. Agu Rossi was the president. Somebody, Ibo man was the speaker. Another Ibo man was the 
and there were the much people in army that I am sorry to go this way. Anybody that want, we could see why your boy guys are telling me at the back here. I will not, I will not, I will not come here and be talking fallacy and be lying here. I have to be very factual. What your guys here from the heat are saying, it is not, it's not going to help our togetherness of southern or southern states because part of the southern states were part of the soldiers that was killed. But it's not just pity for their say ah, we even pity for the. Our brother that's among them is just a tend to say evil man is not there. Is that a right statement from any any right thinking human being? So we blame it not. So that means people that are still worse than the northerners. Some elements, not all, some elements in some tribes, they are still they are still worse than the Ab Abokis and the, the is full and is they are blaming. Because somebody's dead, you cannot just colorate it into I army. Mean, it's so painful, man. It's so painful. It's, I'm, it's, I'm burning as I am down. I'm money. It could be my, it could be my father, but those guys are somebody's father. They are somebody's father. You you, you don't know how the crash happened. Whether the, they were even sabotaged, you don't know. So you are not more, you know you are not more, you know you are, you are not you are not celebrating evil evil that uh, it's, it's some evil act happen on those people. Man, you should think. Could that crash be avoided? It could be. It could have been avoided. That is why they have to get on the hit the ground running and investigate. That is the last thing, and I'll keep saying it on this podium now that the, we want the results. It's not just been happening. We know the accus that crash under IBB. Yeah. That all the generals, they were on course, and they crashed suddenly. It's not first time, it's not second time. That thing has been happening. And it's always Air Force jets. It's always Air Force jets. It's Air Force jets, Air Force jets. Thank you for reasoning with me. But a lot of people, youth, I'm telling you, a lot of youths that we call our youth, our contemporary, I think the, 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 the thing, this thing is not up there, right? I have to say that. Should the president choose... If you had to advise the president, uh, who should they choose as the next? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. As he, as he, as he chose Irabo, which is chief of defense staff from Delta, from Delta State, you should look around and choose the most competent. That is, if you want to remove, if Mr. President himself wants to remove his own nepotism, the Buhari himself, if he wants to remove his own nepotism, he should choose the most capable military officers that can handle that I mean post of chief of army staff because there is a lot on ground with the sincere mind. mind yeah that's what I'm saying he should re he should remove his nepotism cap if he should remove his tri tribal bigotry you know uh, what was it called I'm glad that way they were so and choose the capable people I give kudos for the appointment of Irabo, which is uh, Irabo, the chief of defense staff. He's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a Delta man. And when he got to that post, he said, "I'm from Delta, but is a Nigerian citizen. But I fought that Nigerian citizen because the the, the citizens he is now is being controlled. It be is being remote. But thank you for saying that I'm not a tribal person. I hate tribal bigots. That's me. I hate tribal bigots. You get what I'm saying?" He's capable of doing the work. That is capable of doing the work. Capacity, yeah. To even finish, the, to before we know that, let exactly. when they choose that person, let him go to Sambisa. Not for all these guys are agitating. Let him go to Sambisa and prove his words. Check out, let him ground in them. Yeah. Who could be most capable, even not from the southeast? If we, yeah, I just want to say capability doesn't stop from one train. You see, the problem we are doing now is when we remove tribal skin from our body. That is what they've been doing since that lead, led us to the, where we are. Uncapable people. You are putting them in post. People that are not, you know, capable of handling the position you put them. You are putting them because it's my brother, it's my sister, it's my, you know, in-law, it's my uncle. That is our nonsense. Rubbish. And that is what led us to this place we are now. If it is a neighbor man that is fit for that job, put him there. Put him there. I don't give a, I, I don't give a damn. I just want the results. Are you talking from your heart? Or are you trying to... Nobody is a tribal bigot no, like no, you. No, 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 Nobody is a tribal no. bigot like you, my brother. Leave, uh, leave Nobody me. is a tribal bigot like you. And every tribal bigot here should go to hell. And they are not what to stand among humans. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. I like your statement. Okay. Mr. Raf, uh, can you respond to Mr. Kule? Yes, Kule has spoken his mind, his opinion. His mind, I'm not here to counter him. I'm just here to air my own view, my own opinion. 
So good morning viewers all over the world. Once again, your homeboy, MC Rap Transvans. That's my name. So good morning everybody. Good morning Nigerians. Good morning Lagos. Good morning Southern Nigeria. Good morning Mid Belt. Fair, good morning I'm North. I'm trying to be objective this time around and constructive in my own speech this morning. Thank you. Um, very early this morning, around 1.30 to 2, I overheard my television news at my back because I was online mentioning a crash that chief of army staff is dead. It pained me. He's a human being. He has children. He has a wife. If I could not have even pity for the gentleman, what about the wife, what about the children? There are many people that defend, depend on the young man as a breadwinner. So nobody is happy. Let me tell you, I don't like pretense, pretending. Nobody is happy when any soul is dead. But what happened is, what is the legacy you left on earth? What are the things the people you left behind will say about you? How did you live your life? Did you live your life to oppress your neighbor? Did you live your life to oppress your friend? Your brothers? Did you live a nice life? That is how they will judge you when you are gone. Let's say the truth. But the ultimate judge we have in this life is God. What was happening yesterday in the South is nobody knows. What was happening in some part of Europe, but nobody knows. Aaron Dizou was on serious bombardment yesterday. How many people died in that forest? How many five farmers died in that forest? How many were tapas? They were serious looking, seriously looking for the ESN. East Security Network. People that are fighting terrorists in Igbo land. Nigerian soldiers were abused, they are killing them yesterday. I did not come here to judge anybody. I did not come here to judge Nigerian army. But I'm here to say the truth exactly how it is. I have never compromised in my life anytime I confront camera here. I say something that even the Americans, everybody, Europeans, even fellow Nigerians, they buy my idea. And I also appreciate my viewers because some of them, they give me kudos. I'm not a pretender. I don't come here to, to say, um, um, no. The 10 generals that, that are dead, they died in the crash. Our brothers, Yorubas, are there. Our brothers, Hausa brothers are there. Middle beds. Middle beds, they are there. We are sad. But my question this morning is that, where are they going? What happened to the air crash? The airplane itself, the aircraft. Let me tell you, air crash in the recent time in Nigeria has become just like motor accidents. Calculate it from January to now. How many planes that crashed in Nigeria? Almost four. Almost four. So what happened to this aircraft? Did they check it well? Does it mean that someone planted something there? Who knows? When your finger, one hand is pointing at your brother or neighbor, the rest of the four are pointing at you. Where are they going? The very route they were flying through, is it go, uh, uh, Boko Haram uh, infiltrated or, or fortress? Who knows whether those areas they are the air route they are taking? Maybe now something was fired. So you are saying it may be linked. It may, it may be. It may be. Let me tell you, it may be. Nothing goes for nothing. There is no smoke without fire. How could you think that all these new aircraft this man just purchased from abroad could be all of a sudden developing all these uh, 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 faults? Technical faults. Technical faults. Is it done anywhere in the world? Don't you, that, don't you know that in Nigeria anything could be possible? Don't you know that anything is possible here? You think that just the aircraft just take off and in the mid-air exploded like that? Oh God, there are two things in this life, the physical and the spiritual. We are debating on, on, among ourselves as a result of our own human experiences. But God is there watching. God knows. There are many in the past, the one that was brought down by Boko Haram, Nigerian army, they stand themselves. They debunked it. Nigerian army debunked it that that aircraft was not brought down by the Boko Haram insurgents. Boko Haram leader, check it out, climbed the debris of the plane, shooting gun on top of the plane, claiming responsibility. Who knew what happened to this accident yesterday? Who is it that knew it? Who knew it yesterday? Who knows it today? Let me tell you. My brother, anything could be possible in Nigeria. I'm not here to crucify Atahiru. 
the chief of army staff, I'm not here to crucify those crew members. The meeting they are going, you have the four major brigadier general there, they are all flanning. If they get to the venue of the meeting, all the left uh, fling, uh, left, uh, thank you, all those uh, uh, thank you that are with them, the pilots themselves, they will stay at the reception and allow the main chiefs to go. Still, federal government could, that's why around this walk, is bombarding around this walk, around 4, around 5, then 6 p.m. Of Federal Republic of Nigeria, exactly the bombing around this walk in Imo State, his own plane exploded in the air. What are you talking? Let us be telling ourselves the truth. Nobody is happy that somebody dies. He that swallows to dollar seed, the seed of cherry, you know cherry, when you open it, you put it in the mouth, it's so fledgy, but it has seeds. You are swallowing it, you don't swallow, you don't spit it out. Do you know the shape of your anus? Those seeds, when you're about to excrete it out, blood goes out or comes out with it. What happens in, a, in Kaduna is, let me tell you, I don't think it's a, a, a spontaneous thing. It's a simultaneous thing. Because simultaneously, the Nigerian soldier army, NAF, they were busy bombarding around this war in Imo State. Exactly that time, their aircraft exploded in the mid-air. A mid-air explosion. Now, you expect Igbo man in that axis from around this world, when they had this news this morning, you expect around this world people to be crying. Oh, no. They are crying for their loved ones that they lost. Igbo people are crying for the Igbos that are being shot on daily basis. We are mourning our dead licking our...